All right, what's up, guys? So, Riddle. Rid, Riddle or Riddle? You know what, bro? Tomato, tomato. Anyways, they've uploaded a video's title. What if Mega Piranha didn't go extinct, bro? A Mega Piranha? Like, after seeing, and not, I'm not talking about, like, the newer Piranha movie, but the old, like, the classic Piranhas um, movie. Um, yeah, I, I remember I was like, I, I, I ain't fooling around with no um, Piranhas. Like, that actually kind of had me scared to, like, go in, like, lakes and rivers and stuff. Because that movie, that movie will get to you as a kid. It's been a while since I've seen the classic one. I remember the new one. It'll come on from time to time. But anyways, um... Yeah, I was like, I, uh, that, that new one, it's just, it's, it's all right. You know, I, I guess, like, I guess if you're into the, those type of movies, then, you know, I, I just think that there's just certain movies that's, uh, it shouldn't have been a remake to it, and that, that being one of them. And trying to discredit what they did, I, I just feel like that they, they went about it all wrong, but... Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video. Make sure if you guys haven't, go subscribe to Riddle for more videos like this. They are currently, um, they must have just recently hit 4 million, so congratulations on that. But let's get them to 5 mil. Let's get them 5, alright? But anyways, NT ways. Let's get into this video. Now let's see the how The power of their body and the force of their jaw compression was. is enough to instantly bite off part of the flesh from a human leg or gnaw at the bones of a chicken. Piranhas, fish that we've been afraid of since childhood, thanks to legends and horror movies. Yep. The ancestors of modern piranhas, mega piranhas, were five times longer, 80 times heavier, and their bite force was more powerful than that of the largest lion. That's How crazy. long would you last alone with such a monster? 10 million years ago. Uh, probably zero seconds, because I I would have, I, I don't know. I'm just saying, um, I probably would have been the second person to uh, walk on water, because I'm, I'm like, I'm not, uh, I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to be in no waters where piranhas be at and stuff. A mega so. piranha was able to devour you on the spot. Its length from its head to the tip of its tail could reach up to 128 centimeters, and its weight reached 80 kilograms. That's crazy. The whole body of the mega piranha, solid muscle. This helped it move actively and sharply in the water, making lightning attacks. Its main weapons were powerful jaws and sharp triangular teeth. They were arranged in such a way that when the jaws were closed, they turned into a solid wall, something like a zipper on clothes, a fascinating sight that suggests that this is what the gate to hell would look like. The yes. teeth had a triangular strong base, which allowed it to bite through shells. The bite force of the Mega Piranha reached 4,749 Newtons. This is 10 times stronger than the bite of a lion. That's and twice insane. as strong as the compression of the jaw of a great white shark. The power of a mega piranha was enough to contain a large bullfighting bull or two average lions with its teeth. Special attention is paid to the lower jaw of the fish. It was pushed forward for a more comfortable closing and frightening appearance. Such a fish was mm -hmm. unlikely to be caught and turned into a snack. It just so happened that the like mega piranha the was also mega shy. Myself when included. coming across anything larger, one on one, the mega piranha in most cases swam away and did so as quickly as possible. But it was almost impossible to find one alone while walking along the river. To feel safe, they, like modern piranhas, huddled in groups and also attacked in a crowd. Oh, so and they did members. so okay. from the back. The mega Makes piranha sense. attacks were a theatrical performance. The flock swam around the victim for a long time until one, the most daring fish, decided to take a small bite. This bite was a test signal for the other fish, which oh, wow. made it clear how dangerous the potential victim was and whether it was possible to launch an attack. If there was no response, the fish attacked. 
The developed herd instinct yes. resulted yes. in a line so of scary. very fast attacks. Due to the number of fish and sudden jerks, the water began to boil, resembling a geyser that's about to throw a stream of hot water into the air. Powerful bites instantly penetrated the skin and meat, and the sharp movement of the strong torso tore off parts of the body. The victim didn't have time to recover, because in almost no time, nothing remained of it. Mega piranhas attacked only if the victim moved yes. noisily on the water or actively paddled. The same thing if the victim was bleeding. Mega piranhas had stronger senses than sharks. They only needed one drop of blood per 75 liters of water. Blood and noise hinted to the fish that the victim was injured or scared, which meant that it couldn't defend itself. Worse was if someone entered the territory of the mega piranha or in shallow water where they laid eggs. Then the attack would have been immediate and with 100% wow. certainty. All these conditions also apply to modern piranhas. Statistics say that well, no like that conditions also apply to modern piranhas. Oh, that's like the nose area. For a split second, it looked like some glasses was. I'm like, bro, they even they got a lens crafter underwater. Like, Statistics wow. say that no right. fatal cases I mean, of piranha hey. attacks have been recorded, but isolated bites occur quite often. The famous biologist Herbert Axelrod showed by his own example that piranhas aren't dangerous to people. He threw hungry fish into a pool and then climbed in with them. In the same program, the scientist investigated an incident like, from the 70s. You, like, they don't come out with the movie Piranhas and just, you know, they didn't come out with that movie for no reason. That was a sign. That was to let us know, like, hey, yo, if you see them fishes in the water, you better leave them things alone. Like that so. in Brazil. A bus with passengers slid into the Amazon, and the people inside were eaten alive by piranhas. He even managed to talk to eyewitnesses. The bus fell into shallow water. This could provoke a piranha attack in order to protect their offspring. Imagine that you were sailing on a ship on the Amazon River, and suddenly your transport started to sink. The noise of the shipwreck and the cries of the drowning would definitely attract piranhas. Flocks of yes. fish would surround you from all sides. If you were injured, you'd probably be dead. Piranhas would instantly sense your blood and identify you as easy prey. Water would boil around you and then numerous bites would follow. If you weren't injured, you would have a chance to survive. The main thing would be not to panic, not create unnecessary noise, and get out of the water as soon as possible. And when you found yourself on the shore and looked back at the drowning, you might think that nothing could save them from the deadly fish. But piranhas aren't at the top of the food chain, and they have enough enemies that could disperse the hungry flock from the drowning passengers. At the surface of the water, Piranhas are regularly attacked by caimans. From the depth, they're hunted by freshwater dolphins, and from the air, by herons and cormorants. The most unusual enemy of piranhas can be considered the freshwater matamata -mata turtle. It belongs to the Chelidae family. Their weight can reach 15 kilograms and their length up to 40 centimeters. Its smooth movements underwater help it get as close to the piranhas as possible. So weird its looking. triangular head, shell with growths, and skin texture provide- like I've, I've never seen that type of turtle before. This is my first time ever seeing that. That's like, that's, that's so weird looking. A natural like, disguise. A long, strong neck allows it, the but... turtle to attack underwater at the same speed as a snake on land. Mm. The matamata also has a very wide mouth. This allows it to immediately grasp the whole fish with no chance of it getting free. Also, piranhas are regularly caught by fishermen who sell them to local restaurants. Piranha is a meaty piece of protein that can be used to make soup. 
or be grilled on a banana leaf I'm good. with tomatoes and lime. I'm good. Being completely eaten by piranhas is only possible. My thing is, it's like, okay, I eat, the, I eat piranha. Let's say I go and I, 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 I develop this addiction to eating piranhas, right? I develop this it's, um, addiction. I decide, you know what? I'm gonna go on the water and have some fun with some friends, right? Then the situation that that man just named off. Somehow, some way, the boat sinks. I feel like I wouldn't be injured, but they would sense that I ate probably a good portion of their family. There was probably that one piranha that had like a crush on another piranha, and I ate that piranha, and that man or that uh, male piranha fish was like, I'm gonna seek out revenge for that African American that ate my girlfriend. And uh, yeah, then I. I'm, I'm getting the worst of the worst. Like, there'd be people around me injured. They still would just, you know, sense me out. And I'm like, I I don't, yeah. So that's why I'm like, for one, I just, I do not eat seafood. But yeah, I'm like, I, I will never, ever in my life eat piranha. Well, in extraordinary cases that have not yet been officially recorded, they can bite, cause damage, but not gnaw through to the bones of a living person. In any case, it's best to stay away from them. Oh, yeah. If you found they this interesting, you can let us know in the comments about your favorite prehistoric monsters that you'd like to learn more about, and I'll definitely make a video about them. Thank you for watching, and see you soon. Yeah, bro, you ain't ever got to worry about me messing with no piranhas. I'm like, I ain't seen movies, and I, I just know that that's just, that's not, that's not my fight, so. But anyway, it's pretty good video. I enjoyed it. Make sure if you guys haven't, go subscribe to Riddle for more videos like this. Like, subscribe to me, too, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.